Hello friends, I'm Atul Dahale and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we are going to look at one very dynamic and interesting game played by the Chinese Super Grandmaster Yu Yang Yi. In the final round of Online Nations Cup, China played against USA and Chinese team emerged as the victorious. Well, in the game between Yu Yang Yi and Wesley So, the thing started heating up in the middle game and Yu Yang Yi prepared kingside attack with h4 move and at the right movement he offered Wesley So a knight sacrifice. Well that knight is like a Trojan sacrifice, Trojan knight in the Troy movie. If you can, uh, like accept it, your position will be destroyed. But Wesley So was very brave, he accepted the knight sacrifice but it was a very bad decision. We will see what really happened, how his position started falling out after the knight sacrifice. Yu Yangi played one good move after another and then he checkmated Wesley So's king. So without further ado, let's get started and see this interesting game. So the game started, in this game Yu Yangi was white, Wesley So was black and the game started with d4, black played knight to the f6, c4, e6, knight to the c3, bishop to the b4. Well, this looks like Nimzo Indian, but wait, it is not it there. Knight to the f3 is played and black played d5. Well, this converted into Queen's Gambit, declined position and that too in a Ragozin defense. White played an interesting move that is Queen to the b3. After this, black played c5 move. He is not going to play in normal way. He, by playing c5 move, he is supporting the bishop on b4. And now here, white played d into c5. Well, Bishop into c5 is not that good move. That is not black wants to do. He wants to develop his pieces. So he played knight to the a6 with the idea of at right movement he will be capturing on c5. But first of all he is supporting the bishop on b4. Then white played c into d5. And after that black played knight into d5. And in this position the knight is attacking on c3. The bishop is also attacking on c3. Previously bishop d2 was played. Well. Yu Yang Yi had prepared one novelty in this position. He decided to play c6 which was the novelty in this position because usually what happens the knight comes on c5 with the capture on c5 pawn and it also attacks the queen on b3 and everything happens in a tempo. But here he decided to sacrifice the c6 pawn I means c5 pawn to the c6 and then black cannot really capture the pawn immediately because it will create some weaknesses. Well. Wesley So was also clever, he played queen to the a5, putting more pressure on the c3 knight. Now he is attacking the knight with 3 pieces and sorry, three pieces. And white just played bishop to the d2 to support the pawn knight on c3. And after this move, black had to capture with b into c6. Well, you can see that the pawn on c6 is now a permanent weakness. But well, wait, black is also having his good chances. Here, white has not yet developed the bishop on f1, so he decides to develop the bishop on the g2 square. So he plays g3 in this move and then knight into c3 is played. Well, here white has the option of playing bishop into c3 or playing b into c3. Both the options are there. He decides to capture the knight with the pawn b into c3 to dislodge the bishop on b4. Here he played bishop to the e7, after that white just played bishop to the g2 developing his bishop. Black castled and white also castled. So both the sides have completed the development on the king side. And here black played e5. Well his idea is to play bishop to the e6 and develop his bishop. So white was also prepared for it. He played queen to the c2. And here he doesn't want to uh, give his opponent any tempo because bishop e6 was attacking the queen and it will be a tempo. So he plays queen to the c2 with the idea of playing queen to the e4 in the future. And here black played queen to the c7, getting his queen back in the game and white played queen to the e4. He is attacking the pawn on e5, so it is a duty for black to support the pawn on e5, so he played f6. And now white plays a nice move, he plays queen to the c4, giving check to his opponent. But by giving the check to his opponent, okay, the king h8 was played, but the main thing is happening that bishop can no longer be developed because the knight on a6 will be hanging. So black must wait some move with his knight, that is knight to the b8 must be played at some point, okay. White calmly develops his bishop to the b3 because there was also one of the threat from black side to play knight to the c5. So by playing bishop b3, he controls the c5 square from the knight. 
so knight doesn't have uh, good moves in the front of the position so he goes back with the knight to the d8 and now white again develops his another rook that is uh, rook f d1 is played he is controlling the d file now and here another threat is like bishop a6 was also one of the threat from black side and the pawn on e2 will be hanging but white is not going to care about that thing he has better plans we'll see what happens if he plays bishop to the a6 that is what happened in the game Wesley so played bishop to the a6 and white here played queen to the e6 and after bishop into e2 rook d2 is played well Wesley so has uh, captured one pawn you and he has lost one pawn but what is really happening well you can see this thing that even though black has captured one pawn, white's pieces are very harmoniously placed in the position and the bishop on e2 must go back to the a6 square and you can see one more thing is that white will be having great control on the d file. His pieces, means black's pieces on the queen side are not yet developed. Look at these pieces, they are not having any great aim. And one more thing is that this knight will be moved to the h4 square and then bishop on g2 will be a very dangerous bishop from white side that's what he played knight to the h4 in this position and to control this diagonal black played bishop to the c8 again you can see black pieces are going back to their initial square that is not a good news for you definitely so white played queen to the c4 and to control the f5 square also and try to create his own chances on the king side he played f5 now the knight on h4 is being attacked well here the knight is attacked so Yu Yangi calmly played knight to the f3. He is threatening even to go knight g5 and knight f7 at the right movement. So here to prevent those things black played h6. But objectively speaking black should have realized that it is the right time for him to get his pieces in the game before it gets too late. So he should have played knight to the d7 without fearing the knight jump with knight g5 because okay knight can jump there but he can capture with bishop into g5 and bishop into g5 the position is still intact it is not completely lost for him he can play knight to the f6 and can hope for a better position in the future well you can see that the pawn on c6 will be lost but he has already got one pawn so he can go for this variation but he did not wanted to do that thing he played h6 preventing all kind of knight jumps well the knight jump for the time being has been stopped h6 pawn is there but Yu Yangi prepares for everything. He plays rook a d1, brings the rook in the game. Black plays king to the h7 and now he plays a very nice move. There is a trick in this move. He plays h4, okay. He is not going to slow down on the king side. He has tricks in his mind. Black completely unaware of the thing what is really happening in this position plays rook to the f6. Well, he wants to play his bishop to the e6 and neutralize the queen's diagonal because he will be having some square on g8 if something happens. But white is very quick. By playing h4 move, he had prepared one very deadly sacrifice. Miss, he is going to offer his knight to his opponent and he plays knight to the g5. Now the knight on g5 is like a Trojan horse, right? In the Troy movie, if you capture it, the Trojan horse goes there and it is just a disastrous thing but Wesley so is very brave he is not going to back down in this position well here uh, if you want to save the position maybe king to the h8 was the viable option not to capture the knight and in that case white can play bishop to the c5 then maybe rook to the f8 and then knight f7 rook into f7 and can be played in this position and here queen into f7 and black can play well Capturing here is not exactly the good position because the bishop on e7 will also be lost. Maybe black can play king to the h7 trying to hold on to the position but still white has a nice move that is bishop to the d6 and after bishop into d6, knight into d6, the knight on d6 will be firmly placed in the center. It will be like an octopus which will be attacking important squares in his opponent's camp. And look at these two rooks which are also going doing great job on the d file the bishop on g2 is also doing a good job on this diagonal so this will be a great position for white side but as i told you wesley so accepted the sacrifice he played in the previous oh sorry uh, in knight g5 after knight g5 he played h into g5 and now h into g5 the rook on f6 is being attacked and if you want to save the position for a longer time it was still a worth try to play bishop to the e6 attacking the queen if queen moves back then you don't need to 
save the rook okay because white is threatening queen h5 check and followed by g6 and the king will be very very stuck let's see in this position if black plays rook f8 what happens then white will play queen h5 check king g8 and now g6 move the idea is to play queen h7 and checkmate black might play rook to the f6 but still we have this queen h7 check king to the f8 and now white has a great move that is bishop to the h6 and if black captures the bishop then he can play g7 check if king e8 now there are several ways to win in this position queen h8 check will also win because followed by you can just queen the pawn or you have a great move that is bishop to the f3 threatening bishop to the h5 and black king will be almost checkmated so after queen to the e2 it is a wise decision from black side to play knight to the d7 trying to defend the position and after this maybe you can play this and then knight into f6 still you have some chances to defend the position well wesley so played rook to the g6 thinking that okay maybe he can defend the position on that side and here white had only one move which can lead to the advantage and yuangi was bang on target he understood the position that here in this position the queen is already controlling the g8 square right king cannot go there the g6 rook on uh, from black side it is controlling king's path if you imagine in this position if the rook can come on the h file then it will be a check and mate so but here you can see that the king is still standing there the bishop is there so what to do well you can guess the right move you are right if you guess the move then bishop d5 will come up, come up in your mind because black cannot really capture the d5 bishop because queen into c7 will win the queen and in the game well rook into g5 is also one of the options but what was our plan after bishop to the d5 yes exactly right king to the g2 the idea is to play rook to the h1 and it will be a check and mate so black might play rook to the h1 in uh, h5 in this position but again we can play bishop to the f7 attacking the bishop and it is almost hopeless position for him maybe black can play g6 but we again have a good move we will sacrifice our bishop opening up all the shelter from black side black's king and after king into g6 queen to the g8 check if king f6 and now we have a very silent move that is rook to the h1 the idea is the rook cannot really move if the rook moves if he captures on h1 then there is a bishop to the g5 check and mate so these are the tactics which are very very difficult to spot on in that position so Wesley so decided to play f4 in this current position he wants to at least have this bishop on this diagonal to prevent something but white is not going to slow down he understand that okay now you have played f4 attacking my bishop on e3 but i don't need to develop means uh, support the bishop or save the bishop on e3 he plays a very silent move bishop to the e4 pinning the rook on this diagonal and if here black captures on e3 can you see what is really happening well if you capture there then white will play in a very simple manner i'll give you a little bit if you want to pause the video you can pause and think in this position what is really happening well you can simply play queen to the f7 attacking the rook on g6 queen f7 yes and now the rook on g6 is hanging it is no longer possible for black to save the game maybe he can play bishop to the e6 in this position and after queen into g6 the position will be lost for him okay so queen into g6 and then maybe king to the h8 and queen h7 is a checkmate so to prevent this thing he might play king to the g8 but even if that position comes after king to the g8 we can simply capture queen into e6 and he is getting checkmated in just few moves because we have rook to the d8 check bishop into d8 is played then queen to the e8 is a check and mate so all these things are there black decided not to capture the bishop on e3 he plays bishop to the g5 and now a very nice move comes in the center rook to the d6 just attacking the bishop, rook on g6 and here the pin is there on this diagonal so he cannot really do anything he plays bishop to the f6 trying to protect the rook here but now our golden move comes in the center a very silent move king to the g2 we are not caring about the bishop on e3 we are going to kill his bishop king that is we are going to capture his king it's a checkmate almost there okay black tries last chance he plays f3 king into f3 bishop to the g4 we don't really really need to capture anything we can just go back to the g2 square check and he even after bishop into d1 
White can simply play rook to the d1 and there is no satisfactory way to save the checkmate on the h file. Maybe he can play something like bishop to the h4 but still we can play rook to the h h1 and then rook into h4 is there and black is completely helpless. So in this position black resigned and uh, you can be checkmated. You can say almost checkmated his opponent. I hope you enjoyed this video and you will share this video with your friends also. We'll meet once again. Till then, if you are not subscribed to my channel, do subscribe. We'll meet with some good content. Till then, take care. Bye.